some golden geckos. Would you say some? Like, I, I need like a Heroes of Might and Magic translation here. When you say some, is that like 10 to 15? We talking zounds or? So I don't want to fight zounds. Nice little protect settlement thing going on here. Hello? Is there anybody home? Just, just stuff to loot. All right. The grove marker reads, Jason Anderson, no longer a living god. All right. I think I have a shovel. Do I feel like being a grave digger? I'm not sure I care. Sight's so been uncovered. What do we got? It's nothing. Nothing at all. I've lost five karma. And I'm a grave digger. They're dead. They don't care. Has become your motto. Digging up the remains of others is more than a hobby for you. Womp. Nothing at all though, huh? That's unfortunate. Okay, well, the geckos then. Vic's gonna waste all of his ammo on him. Uh... Nah. Nah. I need like 6,000 experience still. I'll pass. It's not worth the ammo, I think. So, Vault City. Let's get there during the day. I'll put the knife away. Stern looking guard. No loitering. Talk to Wallace if you're looking to get into the city. Check out these guns. Heavy laser turret. Rotates in a menacing way. Shaking their head. No, no, no. One of the courtyard's grungy residents. Get yourself out of here, you hear? Prisoners. Stern-looking guard. Well, let's go into the greeting office. Cheerful young man. Very stiff woman. Looks like she hasn't relaxed in years. Hello and welcome to Vault City, the best city in New California. I'm Steve. How can I help you? It's funny with this guy. Like, there's a... Obviously, there's a vault here. It's called Vault City for a reason. Um, Getting into the vault is a trick. Because it's like a citizenship thing to get into there. If you are low intelligence, I think this dude recognizes like, wow, you're very dumb. Come with me. And he actually just like brings you into Vault City and you work as like a janitor for them or something. But like, <laughs> it's so convenient having little intelligence it's like of all the stuff that you just can't do in this game because of it because of all the stuff that's locked out some of the some of the bigger things like that it's just like oh no you're just free pass it's a bit of give and take it's a nice touch is this fenced in area all there is to the city um looks at a pamphlet in his hand uh you weren't supposed to ask that there's no answer for that in here oh thanks anyway Sorry, gotta read up on this thing. <laughs> what about you, stiff woman? I don't think I've seen you around before. Welcome to Vault City. Is there anything I can help you with? Who are you? My name? Why, it's Melinda. I'm Chief Greeting Officer for Vault City. Let me ask you something else. Is this fenced in area of the city? No, no, don't let the surroundings confuse you. You're currently standing in the courtyard. The actual city lies to the north. What's the difference? The courtyard is an area where we protect the less fortunate outworlders. Many live within our protection and add to the splendor of Vault City. The inner city is where the citizens of the city live. Why do only citizens live in the inner city? To build a better life for everyone, we must be vigilant in protecting ourselves from outside influences. And that means separation. We don't do it for ourselves, we do it for the betterment of everyone. All right, can I ask you something else? I'm looking for the vault. Our vault, it's located within the city. However, I must tell you, only citizens are allowed in the vault. Well, I need to get in. 
I'm sorry, but as I said, only citizens are allowed in the vault. I cannot grant you access. Talk to Wallace, our customs official. It could be Wallace who throws you one, if you're dumb. Actually, maybe. He might be able to help. You'll find his office at the north end of the courtyard. Okay. They got the prison there. They got a dude sleeping here. Charlie, apparently. A gaunt man. His hair is plastered to his head in ragged clumps, and his skin is hanging loosely on his body. Err, irk. Cough, cough, irk. Um. Doctor? The man has radiation poisoning. Your skills can't help him. He needs medication. I think I've got a rat right away. Somewhere. Eh, maybe not. I have rat X. <laughs> no rat away though, huh? So like you got my rat away? I'm pretty sure I had what, like Jimmy? two left. Somewhere. And uh, I got some more rope for you, you freak. Since apparently he's my rope salesman. <laughs> and sledgehammer. Ten rope he's got. I don't know why. <laughs> what am I going to do with 500 feet of rope? Mm. Tie things. There is a child named Curtis. Small brown haired boy. Looks like he has been crying. I lost my friend while playing in the courtyard. His name is Mr. Nixon. Mr. Nixon has a blue shirt and a big nose. He's really, really short. Have you seen Mr. Nixon? I lost him. Alright. Keep an eye out for Nixon, I suppose. A tired looking woman. Looks like she's been crying. You'll look upset. I, well, I, it's my uh, husband Joshua. He's gotten into some trouble in the bar. Accidentally struck a citizen and was arrested. He didn't mean to, but he'd been drinking. Hmm. Where is he now? Inside the city in the Servant Allocation Center. They said he could work off his prison sentence as a servant, but that'll take years. What can be done? I don't have much money left, and we'll have to leave soon if we can't afford to pay the guards for protection. They said if we want to stay with Joshua, then we could, then they could make us servants too. Sounds like a solution. They treat servants pretty well in Vault City, don't they? Hmm. Maybe I can talk to someone. The man in charge is Barkus. Officer Barkus. I couldn't even get inside the city to see him. Don't even know if Joshua's alright. See what I can do. No promises. But I do have a high speech, so like... I don't know, maybe? Cassidy. Dusting looking travelers. All of them. Mm -hmm. Well, now. I ain't seen you around before, stranger. Name's Cassidy. I run this place. What can I do for you? He never used to have a talking head. This was added in. Voice acting and all. And it's pretty well done. Anything interesting going on around here? Interesting. <laughs> Friend, Vault City ain't an interesting place. Unless the guards get bored. Then you better take cover. Why are you asking? You looking for something in this sinkhole? Looking for the vault. Vault? Only vault I know of is the one inside the city. Big friggin' hole. You can't miss it, trust me. Mm, what do you have to drink here? Beer for 20, shot of whiskey for 30. Nothing special. Why, you want something? Beer for 20. Dude, I can I can source beer for 11. Who's your beer guy? I can get you a better deal. I'll take a beer. There you go. Drink up. Might help you forget where you are. This place can't be that bad. Oh, really? Well, hell then, I must be mistaken, considering you're the authority and all. Guess you must have been napping during the raid last week. Oh, yeah, a beautiful sight it was. A guard patrol broke in here looking for illegal substances. They busted down the door, busted up my stock, and then busted up a few of my customers, too. 
After they hauled away this one guy, Joshua, for resisting arrest, they fined my ass for finding, get this, real whiskey on the premises. Never mind that I got a permit from Stark three months before. Bastards. It gets better. Now I'm in debt to the guards for the fine, and I had to buy a new case of alcohol from a merchant at triple my standard rate. I'm expecting the guards to come knocking again soon just to bust my chops. What's it like most of the time? Even the good days ain't worth a damn. The citizens don't drink much, so I'm stuck here pouring drinks for merchants. The next cheap son of a bitch who haggles for a drink is going to be wearing his ass for a hat. Never mind what I said about uh, 11, 11 cat beers. I'll happily pay 20. Why are you here if you hate it so much? I have a bad heart. Need cardio booster shots to keep it beating. This city's the only place to get real medical care, so I thought I'd settle here, try and make a living. Sound pretty fed up with the place. Makes me want to close up shop and let this city rot. Screw them all. Why don't... Well, why don't you... I know why, but... Why don't you leave? Go into the wastes by myself. <laughs> I'm sick of this place, but I ain't stupid. I more thought the lacking medical care. I'm heading out that way again. Why don't you come along? Nah, you look like you got enough of a crowd already. Yeah, fucking Vic. All right. Barter. Quit. Take that goddamn skull off your face. Rock gut. Very strong liquor. Or cleaning fluid. You decide. I'd rather not decide. How much will you pay me for a beer? Yeah, five caps. Seems to be the standard rate. Yes, all very fine. Here you are, sir. Thanks. All right. Well, good luck. I suppose. And none of you... Well, you're a bar patron. Bar patron. They change what they are. All right. Do you guys have a working well? Received a large dose of radiation. Take a big gulp of the well water. It's unusually warm. Why the fuck would you drink it? What the hell's wrong with you? I just wanted to look at it. Could be wrong, but as you look down the well, you feel heat emanating from the darkness. Hey, Sulik. What you be needing? Give me a rope. I'm pretty sure I can't rope down this well. But give me a rope. I'm going in. I'm sure it's safe. Yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. Clinic, hi, hello. Hi, I just got radiated drinking the water outside. Barter first. Well, not barter. All right, what is this place? Common body shop for Vault City. Me and the old doctor in the back patch up whoever needs some attention. Old doctor? Yeah, the auto doctor in the back room there. It's a loner from the city. It can be a little ornery sometimes, but mostly it does the job. Mostly. Ornery, huh? Maybe I'll take a look at it. Hey, Vic. An auto doc. Ancient looking auto doc. Clicking and whirring unhealthily, and a great deal of heat is emanating from it. Hmm. Let me help, says Vic, as he runs in the wrong direction. Come on, Vic. Get over here. You smell something? Hey. I smell your laziness. It stinks. It stinks like asparagus. The damage wasn't as bad as it seemed. Some interior cables needed to be replaced and the diagnostic board cleaned. No problem. Hundred experience. Managed to coax it back into working order. Uh, what's this place again? Old doctor. Uh, auto doctor in the back room there. It's a loner from the city. Been running a lot smoother lately, which is good. Cuts down on repeat visitors. 
I replaced some of the cables and cleaned out the interior. It shouldn't give you any more trouble. Uh, well, thank you very much. That was decent of you to volunteer to fix it like that. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a volunteer job. <laughs> I expect some money. Uh, maybe a discount. Hell no, I didn't ask you to fix it, so you don't get jack. I wouldn't push your luck as long as the guards are in your shot. Uh, go ahead, call them. They won't get here in time to save your ass. Mm -hmm. Well, then you're welcome. Yeah, that's it, that's all. I mean, he he didn't ask. It's true. But I got 100 experience for fixing it for nothing, so... Ragged-looking farmer. Tired-looking woman. Don't think I've seen you around before, stranger. The name's Smith. Yeah, she asked for help. So, like, your wife says things have been hard, I guess. Well, it's tough without a plow. Me and my wife try, but the farming goes slow. You'd help people like us. We can't offer much, but we sure would appreciate it. There's so much to do here. No problem. I'd like to help. Well, thank you kindly. Where can I get a plow? Guns and ammo store. Harry might be selling it. All right. And if I were to talk to you some more, I need that plow soon. Yeah, all right. Yeah, fine. Grungy resident. Gates right over there. Make yourself scarce. Happy Harry's. That sounds nice. Short, jovial man. I'm looking to trade. What you got in stock? He's still selling that plow out there. Well, yes, I am. I'd let it go for, say, 800. 600. 800. Jesus. Fuck it. You just going to take it, or do you need it delivered somewhere? Drop it off with the smiths. Have it dropped off right now. Well, I feel like I just got fucking hosed. <laughs> Yo, that cost a lot, dude. Thank you kindly. A little something my pa gave me before he left this world. With the guards protecting us, we don't need it. But you might be able to make some use of it. So what I just buy for 800? A desert eagle. All right. <sighs> Don't want a Desert Eagle. I mean, maybe as a, another weapon for Vic. He'll probably just blow it up. What you got in stock? Okay, it, I can sell it back to him for 800, actually. Okay, yeah, no, that that's all right. I'm happy enough with that, then. I'm happy to have helped them. Hey! Happy enough to have helped them. Ooh. Leather Armor Mark II. Hello. Enhanced version of the basic leather armor with extra layers of protection. Finely crafted from tan, brown, and hide. Ooh. And metal armor. Polished metal plates. Crudely forming a suit of armor. Expensive. Do, 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 do. Expensive. We've got sixteen hundred for the base. Six twenty two eighty five for the enhanced. Two thousand five fourteen for the metal. So I can actually kind of make that work, and I still have my gun magazines in case I actually want to use them. And I still have all my caps. Just giving him the majority of my loose stuff and things. I can buy the enhanced leather armor, and the metal armor, and some of the ammo. I, I could pick up all of the ammo, which... I, I, su I suppose I will. And then he doesn't need to give me nearly as much money. 451. Sure. And then... Eh. Minus five. Oh, minus one. My mistake. I can maths. And this doesn't sell. I ought to just turn that in when I'm next in the den. It just goes to the bar lady at the entrance. She's like, oh, hey. Because I got the loan back from the dude. Um, She'll be like, hey, I got another job. Find me this book. And then you find the book. It's like 100 caps or something. I don't know. But I still have some backup weapons and such, so I don't really feel too bad about getting rid of all of my junk. 
um, for some potentially better armor and still a bit of money. What's done is done. I'm okay with that. So what do we get? Um, this has additional armor class and also straight mitigation. A little bit of it. The resistances are pretty much the same. Explosive a little better. But then we get the metal armor. 18 armor class, but those mitigations though. And also just the percentage reduction of damage too. Much better and I'm pretty resistant to laser. So I think I'm going to go for that. We can give old Sulik the proper Ur armor. And then Vic can have the older standard Ur. Sulik looking very interesting there with his armor. <laughs> Not what I thought it would look like. Vic, how you looking? Yeah, all right. Sure, I suppose. I'll take your old leather armor, actually, both of you. So look, I think I want to, I think I want to put you back on the hunt and knife. I'll take the sledgehammers and, and stuff. Could you use the knuckles? I'm not sure. Keep, keep a couple, a couple ropes. Or something like that. Combat control. Best weapon. So you still have a sledge. If, if you really want. Okay. And Zula could have used that SMG that I had before, but I couldn't tell him to not burst. And I know better than to let them maybe potentially sometimes burst. It's a terrible idea. Some other grungy resident. Um, just a, just a Brahmin dude? Hello? Hello there, stranger. I'm Ed, the local Brahmin dealer. Help you with something. Ed? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, Ed sounds familiar. My friend Vic here says he bought a water flask from you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. It's been a long time, Vic. A water flask, huh? What about it? Where'd it come from? You know, I can't quite recall. I had a bunch of them for a long time. I think I picked them up during one of my Brahmin drives. Didn't need them much when I settled down. Brahmin drives. When I was a lot younger, I used to drive Brahmin through the big circle. Broken Hills, New Reno, Redding, The Den, Modoc, then back here. It just got too dangerous after a while, so I settled here. Where are these places? Let me mark it on your map. See Broken Hills is south. Bear west on a trail from there. You'll hit Reno. Northwest of Reno is Redding. And north to The Den, east to Modoc, then east to here. Vault City. Any idea which of these places you got the flask from? Can't remember exactly. Long time ago. Why do you want to know? Looking for the vault that flask came from. Well, hell, if it's a vault you're looking for, then there's one inside the walls of Vault City. Vault 13 is inside the city? Well, that, I don't know if it's 13 exactly, but there's a vault. If that ain't the one you're looking for, the vault central computer might know where the others are. If damn near listed everything in it. Thanks for the info. Discover the origin of the water flask. 500 experience. We're just assuming that it's 13 inside the city. <laughs> Alright. So, save game there then. Happy to finally have, like, a bit of real armor. Like, leather armor's better than nothing, but jeez. Man, it's, uh... It ain't much. With this actually having, uh... Oh yeah, I'm still radiated. Disgusting. Actual, like... Just straight raw resistance that'll help a bunch. This is a security office or so. Yeah. Yeah, no, Vic, they don't want us here. Get out of here, Vic. Keeping her eyes fixed on the ground. Healthy looking woman in working clothes. Food's here excellent. Hmm. Alright. Customs office. Looking for Wallace. Wallace's assistant, Skeev, and a thin man with a pinched face, wearing a sharply pressed vault suit. Now, I have kind of a memory here, actually. If I'm already wearing a vault suit, 
We got custom business. Wallace is at the back. Okay, thanks. Just walk right on in then. Fine, fuck me. What? Why? You're wearing an original vault suit. Yes, I am. And you won't believe what I had to go through to get the damn thing. Here, take this day pass. Go speak with the first citizen. I'm sure she'll have many questions for you. Bang. Save that as 13. Fittingly, actually. And we load, and if we don't change suit, what happens? I think I'll commit with that, though. Because it I honestly forgot about it, but then when it said the thing about the sharply pressed vault suit, I was like, I wonder what condition my vault suit's in. And then I thought, ah, my vault suit. I have one of those. So I'll probably walk around at the vault suit for a bit and see what goes on. Um, What is this place? Customs office for Vault City. We're responsible for keeping a log of all the goods that come to us via the caravans and supervising all transactions. All merchants must pass through the customs before entering the city. What goods do you receive? Depends on where the caravan's from. Shipments from many places. Servants from the Den, uranium from Broken Hills, metal ore from Redding. We already know about those places, so... Um... What is this place? I'd like to enter the city. If you want to enter Vault City, then you'll need a good reason. Only a Vault Citizen has the right to come and go as they please. All others must procure a day pass. What's a day pass? Those who need to deal directly with the merchants or the first citizen are given a day pass. Only those with day passes can enter the city. Well, uh, I am a merchant. I had planned on trading with the other merchants in the city. Can I get a day pass from you? You're a merchant? Really? And what do you happen to be selling? Or some of those filthy wasteland lizard skins? Glances on my companion. Or are you looking to sell some servants? Uh, yes. Some servants. Hmm, very well. There is a day pass fee for merchants. $500. That includes full daytime trading privileges within Vault City walls and is good for up to five years after its issued date. Yeah, a little steep. I think I'll pass for now. Because, uh... I'm fucking awesome is why. So we got a day pass though just for wearing the suit. Weighs one pound this day pass. A slightly crumpled piece of paper granting me access to all areas of Vault City except the vault itself during daylight hours only. Weighs one pound. Uh, daylight hours only. We only have 10 in the morning so we're plenty okay. Day pass. There you go. I'm a citizen. Let me see your papers. Uh, what I meant was, how do I go about getting citizenship? Okay. I have a day pass though also, lol, JK. Here you go. I have to search my belongings first. What for? Buff out, jet, psycho, mentats. I, I think I sold all my jet to that last guy. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! That worked out really well. <laughs> I forgot about that too. Man. That works out really well. Uh, the music seems to have busted, so let me... Back main menu, I think it was. Just a thing I have to do sometimes. Uh -huh. Here we go. Probably good to do that every now and then anyway to prevent it from crashing. So, Vault City. Um, it's a fairly large place. As you can see, the vault itself is citizens only. Uh, or workers people stuck in servitude, which, if you're dumb, as I said, you automatically get uh, thrown into. So that's fun. Saves you a lot of trouble. Tap house. Stern-looking guard. Stern-looking guard. Bright blue jumpsuit. Looks like Vault Dweller suit, but there's no number on the book. And Lydia. Mine's got a number. Have until 6 p.m. There. Yes, can I help you? I'm looking for info, like barter. <laughs> Would you like my day pass? Uh, it'd be a sledgehammer. Cool. Uh, see, I am a merchant. I'm a sledgehammer and rope salesman. Kind of torture instruments a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it too much. Mm, 
Does Vault City have much contact with the outside world? Not much. Most contacts we have with outsiders is merchants traveling the big circle. I already know the places of all the... Okay, thanks, bye. A lot of opportunities to learn where stuff is. And then dude's doing gardening. This is just a house. Where's the info center? Yeah, this is just a house, I think. Okay. Mm, amenities office A, amenities office B, and a maintenance center. These, I believe, are sh shops. Did you have? Was it one of these deals? No. All right. I don't remember if Fallout 2's got the thing where you use different tables and they've got different inventories. I feel like it doesn't have that. It was just a weird Fallout 1 thing. What's this place? Sub amenities office A. Handle tools and repair equipment for the city. You sure this is the place you're looking for? Can I see what you have in stock? A knife, flares, sludge, money, and a tool. Well. Uh, actually, how much is the leather armor? That'll kind of work. Just so you know, general store in the courtyard outside might want to try shopping there. I hear his selection is almost as good as ours. I'll shop where I want, it thinks. You're fine. And next door. She didn't really have much, just a few hundred caps that I sold a sludge and some stuff for. Uh, can I see what you have in stock? Office B. Some doctoring supply. Whew. Man, I wonder how radiated I am. God damn it, I can't believe it. Uh, Jeez, that's a lot of money, man. I really don't want to sell those in case I want to read it. It's like a good 30 skill points worth of books there that I've got. Yeah, I'll just talk. I'll see about remembering that you've got that. Thanks. Cheers. And maintenance center next door. There's also the primary amenities office that we could pop into. I don't know if they sell stuff, though. What do you want? Uh, Dad? Uh, sorry? Dad? Valerie, honey, is that you? Where the hell have you been? Still running around the waste, selling shiny junk to tribals. Uh, ignore her, boss. She doesn't know what she's saying. Val, honey, you s Cut the crap, Dad. Are you still calling everybody you meet, boss? I always hated that about you. Brother, honey, please let me explain. You see... And that's how we got out of the den. What a load of Brahmin crap. It's the truth. Don't you start. I'm glad mom isn't here to hear this. What, what happened to your mother? Brain fever. Caught it out in the ways. Probably looking for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. She actually died of radiation poisoning. She drank some of the unfiltered water from the courtyard well. Yeah, hey, me too. Is it, like, really bad? <sighs> Wasn't your fault. I had too many reds running through a system for Dr. Troy to... Save her or something, I guess. Don't worry, she was pretty batty before that anyway. So sorry you didn't get a chance to see her again. Though you weren't used to call her a desert viper, didn't you? Wow. Rude, Vic. Awful bitch when she wanted to be. Uh, inherited your father's knack for repairing stuff, it seems. Whew. Can barely tie your shoelaces, much less repair anything with moving parts. The devil, you say? Let's ask your boss. Uh, he did repair a thing before. He got the auto dock. Can fix radios and stuff. <laughs> if you gave him all the parts, right? Well, yes. Ah, I do it. Sloppy, sloppy. 
Last I saw you could barely something with a lug nut and wrench and wrench to get my boot out of your ass. Uh, <laughs> uh, long enough. Come on, Vic. Let's get going. I'll talk later, Val. Yeah, sure, Dad. So, Valerie. Well, if it isn't my dad's boss, did you want something, or are you just going to stand there gawking like a moron? Uh, I'm not in the mood for any bullshit today. What is this place? Maintenance shed for Vault City, or did you just happen to miss a huge sign on the side of the building? Thought it might be a shop of some sort. Well, you got the of some sort right anyway. Look, did you need something repaired, or you just want to ask me a bunch of dumb questions? What do you repair here? Synthetic alcohol dispensers, radios, firearms, laser turret parts, computer monitors, you name it. But I can get the tools to do my job. Tools? Right now, I've got a metal lathe barely working, and my wrench has gone missing. Again! And my pliers teeth are stripped. Anything I could help with? You? I doubt it. Would getting you a new wrench and a set of pliers help you out? Yes. Why? Maybe I could find some and bring them to you. I won't hold my breath, but if you want to, go ahead. It's your time, not mine. I might be able to scrape together a little to pay for your trouble. So, I think we had a wrench once upon a time. I I, I currently have pliers on me. Uh, I, I feel like we found a wrench at one time, and I probably sold it. I don't, I don't think Sulik has got it. Yeah, no, he doesn't really have much of anything. Am I just misremembering? I don't know. Yeah, no, they don't barter. I was just leaving. So I got I got pliers though. That's I've had those for ages. Including pliers. Just a wrench we need. Always a pleasure to see a new face. Name's Randall, Chief Amenities Officer. Need something. Depends. What is this place? Amenities office. Typical stock. Basic living necessities. Some books. How-to manuals. Tools. Stimpacks. Medical supplies. This and that. Sounds great. Valerie over at the maintenance said Shed could use a wrench and some pliers. Yeah, I know. I'm still waiting for the requisition list to clear the server. But it's going to be a while. Don't know what to say. Things just take time. Hmm. You happen to have a Gek in stock? A Gek? That's a Garden of Eden creation kit. Kind of the great suitcase looking thing, right? Haven't heard anyone mention one of those in, well, since almost forever. You have one? Hate to break it to you, friend, but we don't have ours anymore. Used it up to make Vault City. Poof. All gone. Eh. Know of any place that might have one? Well, here's your problem. As I see it, the Gek's an old piece of tech. Pre-war tech, in fact. You can't just find them anymore. They were only issued to vaults. You know where I could find any other vaults. Well, if you had access to our vault control computer, it's a vault central computer, you might be able to find mention of some other vaults, but only citizens are allowed in. Alright. Barter. Wow. What's this place again? What do you have in stock? Sorry to break it to you. Only authorized to do transaction with citizens. No offense to you, but it's the rule, you know. My try happy's Harry's out in the courtyard. But I, I am a citizen. Don't you remember me? Uh. Really? Can't say I recall you. I got your papers on you? Might clear up the matter. Ah, never mind. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> it ain't worth it. Wild eyed man, despite his unkempt hair and scruffy beard, his clothes look clean and well cared for. Hmm. Who we'll kicked that can? Hello and welcome, traveler. Have you heard the word today? I have not. The word, my friend, the word is selfishness. Mix in a slew of arrogance, and what do you have? Vault City and all its self righteous slave trading glory. Why do you live here if you hate it so much? Why, we're better to preach than those that need it need to hear the most. 
I suppose you're right. Who are you? My name. I'm Thomas Moore, preacher of the word and the truth. What brings you to me today, friend? Do you seek the word? Selfishness, yeah. Amen. It is time to hear the wailing of our kin and kin outside these walls and let them in. We have more than enough to feed and shelter our brothers. We do not, we need not be rich when so many are poor. Friend, as I look upon you today, I see strength. I see faith. Do my eyes deceive me? Or do they see a kindred soul that shares my cause? Damn right. Then let me ask you this, my friend. To what lengths would you go to spread the word? Mm, depends on the money. Mm. No lengths are too long, no distance too great. When the cause is just and the word is... And the word is true. Whatever needs be done, I'll do it. Even though it may mean banishment from this oasis. I don't know, what are you asking me to do? I have a briefcase with information vital to our cause. Will you deliver it to New Reno for me? i do it, but the citizens here are watching me. It's gonna cost you. What? How dare you blackmail me! You! You! You have my full attention. Here, this briefcase has my account numbers in it. Deliver it to John Bishop in New Reno. He'll give you access to my accounts. Better be worthwhile. Lost three karma. Moore's briefcase. Thomas Moore asks you to take this Brahmin hide briefcase to the Bishop family in New Reno. Securely locked. Can't seem to open it. Well, it's five pounds. Jesus. Hey, Sulik. Hang on to this for me, would you? Thanks, friend. It's where he keeps his ropes. Traveling salesman, you understand. Torture implements. Just another security office. Seal it. Get out of the door. So yeah, there's no like getting in there. It's not a transition zone type deal. So there's no like combat moving through. Uh, correction center. Oh yeah, what time do we have? 6 p.m. Yeah, it's 10.06. Time's not moving. Like at all. Oh, this is, yeah, the actual prison. There was a dude that we're looking for here. I thought. Let's save, though. Who are you? Citizen Sergeant Stark. Outsider. What do you want? Where's the vault? The What do you do here? Keep the outworlders in line, make sure the servants behave, organize patrols, try to protect the city from raiders. Have you heard of a servant named Joshua? Yeah, he was the drunk outworlder who struck one of my guards in that brawl in the spittoon. He's over at the servant allocation center getting broken in. Just down the street. A lot over there now. Okay. Allocation center. He stands out. Strong man in working clothes, keeping his eyes fixed on the ground. You see, another Vault City official. Yes, what is it? I'm behind on my assignments. What's this building? I'm looking for a particular servant. Joshua, I believe. Is he here? Joshua? Yes, we do have a servant by that name. He was recently transferred from the Correction Center. Your interest in him is... I suspect he has a contagious disease. You might want to release him before he infects the other servants. Mm. Mm. I'd like to negotiate for his release. Oh, really? What makes you think I would release him? A sizable donation? Suspicion of a contagious disease? Is that so? Are you aware that each servant is thoroughly checked before being admitted to the allocation center? Are you aware of Yeti syndrome? He would, it doesn't show up on most medical scans, and his symptoms can lie dormant for weeks. Uh, a lot of outworlders have it. Its symptoms include uh, speaking when not being spoken to, and using coarse language. Yes, I have noticed those symptoms in the servants of late. Contagious, you say? Hmm. Well, if this Joshua is a carrier, I shall release him at once. Give me a moment to make the arrangements. 
It's done. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Joshua is no longer a servant of Vault City, and he has been moved to the courtyard with the rest of the Outworlders. Sounds good. I had some other questions, though. Uh, actually, that's it. That's all. Fucking moron. Why Yeti syndrome? <laughs> God. Jesus. Information center. So I'm gonna save. I can't believe that'll work. Jesus Christ. What's this place? Mm, it's just the info center. Do you have any books or manuals? Books currently being transcribed into electronic format. Extras are being shipped to the amenities office down the street. Might try there. Where are the electronically formatted books stored? Being entered into the library terminals on the third level of the vault. Don't recall which one. It's not one of the ones in the central core, though. I see. What about a gek? A gek? Sounds familiar. What's it do? You know, I don't know myself. To hear the elder of my village tell it's supposed to be some panacea from my village. I'm a little more skeptical. Well, you know, the central computer down in the vault might have some info about it. We keep most of the other older archives down there. How can I get down to the vault? Need to be a citizen first. If you want, you could take the citizenship chest. Or better yet, speak to first citizen Lynette. I'm sure she might make an exception in your case. Okay. Now, Lynette, I remember being a real nasty bitch. Um, it could be she gets super pissed with me having the suit, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to say before talking to her, though, it can very easily go super fucking wrong. Central Council looks like an important building. A parlor room. A couple more. Buildings and such. Just some people security office, I assume. Yeah. They got plenty of those. 